So today, to start the week off, we're starting the week off very strong. I made my goal $2,000. And in this video, I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna talk about candlestick patterns. Which ones should we care about? Are they really important? I'm gonna discuss that in this video as I show you the profit that I made this week using the method. All right, stay tuned right after this. It's Money Monday. Money Monday. Jay Wayne got that motivation. Let's go. Take profits on the move, the movement is real. Pips a day, watch the money trip. Pips pay my bills. Pips pay my bills. Pips pay my bills. Pips pay my bills. What's up, y'all? This your boy Jay Wayne, you know, representing Team Take Profits, and welcome to another Money Monday video where I look to encourage you for the rest of the trading week. Um, I want to keep you guys focused, motivated, encouraged, because my mission is to help you become a profitable trader so you can get your time freedom back and start empowering people that's around you. And if you guys are down with that, while you guys are coming in, please give this video a like. Let's get this video to about 20,000 likes. I know we can do it. It's about 70,000 of us. Let's get this video a good 20,000 likes, all right? I don't think that's asking for too much. All right, so the big question is, are candlestick patterns important? And the answer is yes. But you know what everybody try to do? They try to learn every candlestick pattern. And you know when it's game time, when it's time to apply everything that you learn, it's not realistic to remember every candlestick pattern there is. It's, it's a whole bunch of them. You know what? But I want to simplify this this for you all right and the way i'm going to simplify this is let's focus on major candlestick patterns and the placement of them all right and the timing of them okay so that's what i want to focus on in this video and i have an example to show you um it's more than just an example is how i took profit this morning um during london Okay, um, me and the team, um, I personally made a, over, a little over $2,000, which is my goal. My goal is about $2,000 a day. And I feel if, if I can accomplish that, then I'm doing very well. And um, I can do a lot of things just by doing that for like a solid year. So, so next year, um, I'm probably going to be looking to make about $4,000 a day or $3,000. But right now, I'm, I'm comfortably making about $2,000 a day. All right, four days a week. So um, let's go to the charts. Let's take a look at um, the the scenario or the situation that happened today. So um, what we got here is um, uh, this is GBP odd. Out of all the GBP pairs, um, this is the one that I like the most. Now GBP NZD. Uh, this Monday, you know, this morning for London took off as well. All right. But I like uh, the GBP odd that spoke to me more. So the first thing when I open up the chart, I see this big, stupid green engulfing candle. And we all know what that was. All right. I just made a video about that, um, how I almost blew my account. And that that big candle almost blew, you know, took my money. So if you want to watch that, that video is right here. At the top of the screen, check that out. All right, top right corner. Uh, you can check that out later. All right, so um, so I see that green candle from the other day from the uh, elections. All right, G uh, the GBP elections, and it pulled back. It pulled back. Now, and it and it shot right back up, and it made a double top. All right. Now, for most of you, you see a big gap there. If you go to the four-hour time frame, let me see if it's on here. No, it's not on here. But most of you guys brokers, if you go into your MT4, you will see a big engulfing. Uh, you will see a big uh, gap, especially on GBP USD. You will see a gap. And the market loves to fill gaps, okay? So that's what it's doing right now. It's, it, has came, it has come down to fill the gap. And so I, I wanted to capitalize on it. So... First of all, how I analyzed, uh, analyzed this was I saw uh, a double top, okay? And seeing this double top on an hour time frame was, was, 
was really a blessing, all right? Because the higher the time frame, the more stronger it's gonna be, okay? Seeing a double top on a five minute, a 15 minute is not that good, you know what I mean? It's, okay, it, it's still okay, but it's not gonna be the same as seeing it on an hour or four hour or daily, okay? So we see it on the um, hour chart very clear, okay? Now, what I did was I'm saying, okay, well, let, let me rewind it. I wanna rewind it for you. Um, So right here, instead of taking the double top at the top, I'm going to wait for the trend line break, all right? And actually, I missed, I called out this trade for the team, and I missed it, okay? I missed the trend line break. So it dropped for like 69 pips from the trend line break, all right? So I missed it, though, all right? I fell asleep and missed it. So I knew I had to wait for a retest. And so what I did was I pulled out the fib from this low to this high. All right. And I marked that up. I marked up the golden zone. All right. So now we got the golden zone marked up. So now I'm looking for price to... I break it and retest at that area. All right. And so we kind of play it out. And right there, you see how right up in this area, right up in here, let me mark it up for you. And it retested a couple times. But this area right here is where I saw it. So it, it dropped down and it pulled back, right? Sitting above the golden zone and it broke through. Now, what I like about this is, let me zoom in for you. All right, let me zoom in. Do you see this doji candle right here? The doji, the little red doji candle. I'm gonna try to highlight it. The little red doji candle. That candle right there is, is something that we should look for at the, in a certain situation. Now, a doji candle in anywhere doesn't count. But if we see a big strong move breaking the trend line and then price comes back to test structure as you see here and then gives you a, a rejection candle or a, a, a reversal candle stick pattern like a doji in that situation i'm taking that i like that so it's basically letting me know we're retesting this structure for how long i don't know but for now i got momentum on my side all right and then you already know after that i'm starting to look at the martin stochastic on the lower time frames so let's go to the 15 and right here, let's, let's rewind it. Oh, well, I don't know if we, we don't really have to rewind it, but well, let's rewind it. So right here where you got the, where I had it highlighted, look at the Martin stochastic. That's what I saw the Martin stochastic look like. It was overbought. Okay. Breaking the trend line, pull back and now it's overbought. Plus you got the candlestick reversal pattern, which is that, uh, that doji candle on the hour chart. And now on a 15 minute chart, which is my entry time frame, I see the Martin Stochastic um, lit up red and it's overbought. So I'm taking that. All right. And I got this golden zone. So that's about the area that I that I entered in on. All right. And you can see the profits right here on the screen. OK. And pretty much it just kind of, you know, it kind of played around and it dropped for me. So I was able to capitalize and get about $2,300. That was perfect for me. And then I was out. You know, I'm day trading. I'm not holding these trades very long at all. Um, I catch some swing trades every now and again. But for the most part, you know, I'm out. So especially, guys, when you get a big account, you don't have to be in the market all day long. You know, you know, 15 pips, 10 pips can change your life. You know what I mean? It's if you just stick to your rules follow it over and over and over so that's pretty much what i do i know my lane i stick it i stay in my lane i, I pick my times in and out done all right you never even knew i was there <laughs> you feel me so um now uh so i wish that i caught the breakout from the trend line but i had to be patient and wait for the pullback you have to be patient i could have had a fear of missing out and jumped in as soon as i jumped in it would have pulled back on me you feel me it would have pulled back on me so, 
that happened to me way too many times. So I learned my lesson from that. So I'd rather just wait for it to come to me. Wait for it to come to you. And if it doesn't come to you, then no well. You know, it'll come to you tomorrow. It'll come to, to where your your buy your sell limit is tomorrow, you know, potentially. Or you just take the buy. But you just have to wait for it, okay? I'm tired of having a fear of missing out, jumping in, and it reverses on me. And I'm just in, in drawdown for no reason, okay? So, uh, but that's the candlestick pattern in this situation. So I'm looking, you want to look for doji uh, candlestick, you know, pattern around structure, around golden zone areas, testing structure. You want to find, um, you know, uh, morning stars, evening stars. Let me show you what that looked like. So look at this type of candlestick pattern. I like... I like this one. Let me let me mark this one up for you. So I like this type of candlestick pattern right here. You see how it's, it's in an uptrend? And do you see how it's pulling back? And then how do you gauge when the pullback is over? Well, this candlestick pattern, you're looking for these, these type of patterns right here in the right situation though, okay? And so uh, if they popping up in the middle with moves, it doesn't make sense. No, 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 no. You want to find them around structure, pulling back, retesting structure. Okay. And so then I like to combine the Martin Stochastic with it. So now as it's pulling back, giving me this type of candlestick pattern, the red candle going down here. And then you got this uh, candle right here. And then you got one coming right back up uh, above the red one closing above the red one plus you got the stochastic oversold ready to curl back up that's i'm using the mars i'm using a martin stochastic as a gauge to time when the pullback is over combined with the candlestick pattern now that's a that's a morning star a evening star will be the uh, the the complete opposite the same candle situation but at the top so that's basically telling you that we're we're pulling back to drop again so we're, we were going, we're, we were going down, and it's pulling back up, and then it's showing you an evening star, which is the opposite of a morning star, and then it's going to drop again. So I'm looking for the stochastic to be overbought in that situation to curl back down on an evening star. Okay, I hope that hopefully that makes sense. But um, yeah, so I like that. So that's it, you know. And you want to find them on higher time frames. If you can find them on higher time frames, beautiful. Perfect. Okay. The moves will be more powerful. It will last longer. You'll be on the right side of the market. All right. So I like to combine those um, powerful uh, candlestick patterns with the stochastic. Okay. And of course, you're looking at the trend. All right. You're looking at the trend. You're looking at, you want to find these uh, candlestick patterns pulling back into structure, okay? To help you know when the pullback is over. It's just a, 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 a edge, you use it as an edge. You combine that stochastic with those candlestick patterns, you have a great edge, all right? Now you still have to learn how to trade. You can't just use that and use that as a strategy, all right? You have to use logic, okay? So if you guys need mentorship, then don't be afraid to reach out to me, you know, email me. I'm very uh, busy with answering a lot of emails. So just, I'll get to you in time. I'll get to you in order. But uh, just email me, message me on Facebook, whatever you need to do to get a hold to me. I'll be happy to help you. And I promise you, it'll be worth it. It'll be worth it. It'll be worth getting mentored and being with a team that know what they're doing, okay? Then you doing it on your own, wasting time and money, all right? So I'd be happy to help you. All right. So I hope this video was informative. I hope they helped you out. Um, hey, all my Team Take Profits family, before you leave, don't forget to like this video, comment, and subscribe. And let's make this money, baby. Peace. 50 pips a day, watch the money drip. 50 pips a day, watch the money drip. Pips pay my bills. Pips pay my bills. Pips pay my bills. Pips pay my bills.